What's up, gorgeous people? This is Ambazar's DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks. Today is Make It Monday, and on this video, I have for you a diaper cake. So it's been a while since I've made diaper cakes, guys. Like, I used to do this as part of my business on the regular, so like I could bang these out in no time. And honestly, I had to kind of sort of reteach myself how I was going to do some things. But usually, even when I was doing this on the regular with my business, I just kind of, you know, wing it like I do with all of my crafts and hope for the best. So the process that I'm going to show you is my process. This isn't a process that most people would do. And there are far easier ways to make these things, but this is the way that I just choose to make mine. So without further ado, let me show you how I made this thing. Okay guys, so we're going to start by rolling the diapers and to do that, I'm going to use this ribbon that I got at Jan Fabrics for 99 cents. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is cut this down to a size that's more manageable to use for the diapers. So I'm just going to go ahead and unravel this and cut it down to a size that is more manageable. And once I'm done with all that, I'm left with a stack that looks like this. I'm going to sit that aside, grab one of the diapers, and then I'm just going to roll it. So I'm going to roll it until it's, you know, to the end here, and it looks like that. Then I'm going to take one of the ribbons, I'm going to tie it right into place in a knot. So after I've tied it into a knot, I'm going to cut off my excess, and boom, that's all I'm going to do for this part. Now this makes it really easy, because to get this off, all you have to do is unravel it, boom, your diaper's there, good to go. Okay, so you can also use yarn if you want to and honestly guys I wish I would have used yarn for the whole thing and not wasted my money on the ribbon because you don't even see this part but I still want to make sure that everything matches all the way through that's just like me mentally wanting it to look as nice as I possibly can even though it's not going to be seen okay so this is what I'm going to be working with the 14 inch cake circles the 10 inch cake circles 8 inch cake circles and 6 inch cake circles now you can cut out your circles with regular cardboard on your own if you want to I just find this easier so now I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, styrofoam for my separators. Now guys, I have to cut this so that I can make it work, but you can buy styrofoam that's already ready. They're in little cubes from the Dollar Tree. They're in four inches, just like I'm cutting these ones in. But this is what I had on hand and I wanted to use up what I already had. So this is the way that I'm going to do it. But it would be far easier to simply buy the styrofoam that's already ready in the little cubes from the Dollar Tree. So now I'm gonna glue them into stacks of three so that I have a little bit more height but again if you use the ones from the Dollar Tree you can skip all of these steps I'm just showing you this because this is part of the process that I had to do to get to my finished product <laughs> so I'm just shaving it off trying to make it somewhat even but you know it doesn't have to be perfect good to go okay so now the cake circles I'm going to take this ribbon here that I also got at Gion Fabrics for 99 cents I'm just going to cover the edges of those because I don't want to see the edges of the cardboard so I'm just going to take my glue gun I'm going to squirt some glue on there just to work in little bits at a time guys then put some of the ribbon down put it down into place and just hold it until it's somewhat dry and it's going to look like this so much better than that exposed cardboard because this you will be able to see parts of it throughout the cake so I just cover the whole circle to make sure that everything looks nice Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've done all of them. I ended up doing two 14 inch cake circles, one 12 inch, one 10 inch, one 8 inch, and one 6 inch cake circle. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is cover those cubes with this paper. It's like uh, scrapbooking paper that I got at Joanne Fabrics. I got a chevron print and a polka dot print. We'll go ahead and grab this polka dot print, turn it upside down take one of the styrofoam pieces now I want this flat side to be the top part and then obviously I have the other flat side for the bottom part so we only need to cover the sides of it so I'm gonna go ahead drop some glue on here and this is the way that I found it to be easiest by the way guys so then I'm just gonna drop it right onto the paper rather than tracing this out and cutting out pieces this makes sure that it's going to be exactly right every single time after it's dried I just cut it out and then boom you know it's just a lot easier and you're not wasting paper because I found that when I tried to cut the pieces I was still shaving some stuff off so I just found this quicker and easier than trying to 
you know, cut each and every single piece into squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that same process till it's all the way covered. Now that that's all the way covered, I'm going to take these little strips that I cut, I'm going to fold them in half, and I'm going to add these to the corners of the cube, because I just want it to be completely covered. I don't want any of that styrofoam getting on the diapers. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right here, put that on there, and obviously once that's dry, I will cut off the excess here. And then once the excess is cut off, I'm going to go ahead and lift up those edges right there and I'm going to add some glue just to make sure that everything is da glued down into place. Okay, so now I'm ready to start stacking the actual diaper cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bottom 14 inch circle and see how it has that center mark there so you know where your center is. And then I'm just gonna make sure that where the ribbons meet in the back, that that is going to be the back part of the cake. I have this really large styrofoam cube that I covered because this cake's gonna be rather large, so I wanted to have a nice sturdy structure. So I'm just going to take some hot glue. I'm going to just lather it up with hot glue, guys. Just add as much as I possibly can. And then I'm going to obviously flip this cube over to glue it into place. But as you can see, I'm adding a, adding a very generous amount of glue because obviously I wanna make sure this stays where I need it to stay. So as I'm trying to center it, guys, what I do is I first eyeball it, obviously, and then I just kind of sort of press it down. But then I take a tape measure and then I just measure each of the edges. Now I can't tell you how much space you're gonna need, you're just gonna have to figure that out. So I'm grabbing my tape measure, I figured mine was three inches all the way around. So I'm just checking to make sure that it's three inches all the way around. Once I'm happy with the way that it is, I go ahead and I just put my entire body on top of it, just trying to keep it in place while the glue dries. Cause you do have a little bit of time because I added so much glue to this so now I'm gonna take the next circle we're gonna do the exact same process guys but I'm just gonna show you this because I do something a little bit different here that I think it's important that you see so I'm gonna go ahead and add the generous amount of glue just like I did before now once I plop this circle down I'm eyeballing it from the top and you really can't measure from the top so what I do is I flip it over and then do the exact same thing measure out all the sides and make sure that every side is three inches you know, all the way around, making sure it's the same, and then just putting all my weight on it until it's glued into place, guys. But it's a lot easier if you flip it upside down once you start working on the upper tiers. Okay, so this is what it looks like once I've stacked it. So everything's stacked. I have the great big one on the bottom, and then I have the smaller ones on up. And that top one I did flip a little bit differently, and you'll see why here in a bit. So this base is ready to roll for us to start building our cake. So the next thing that I wanna do is take this uh, scrapbooking paper and I'm cutting it into one inch strips because we're gonna need this to secure the diapers into the diaper cake. So after I've done that, I'm gonna take these pinking shears and then I'm going to just cut where I have the paper marked. Now you're gonna see here in a second, after I've cut it, I realize that I don't like the width, so then I'm gonna cut it again. So this is my first cut, and then I'm just gonna cut the edge so that it has those squiggly lines and everything matches. Because I can't cut straight, I find that this helps make this illusion that it's straight when it's actually not. So I wasn't happy with the width, so I went ahead and decided to cut it in half again. So now I'm going to be using these half inch strips. And honestly guys, for the rest of it, I just kinda eyeballed it. I didn't even use those marks at all, so you could do that as well. Now we're ready to start stacking. So I'm taking one of the diapers, making sure that I have them all faced in the same direction, and I'm just sticking them into the cake. So I can only fit two comfortably in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this entire tier all the way around, stacking in twos. So Obviously, I'm gonna have two rows of two, so four total will fit in this particular tier. So now that I have that completely stacked, you're gonna see me take this next individual part, and I'm gonna put that diaper upward first, and then I'm gonna put the two in front of it. I found that this helps fill it, the space perfectly without having too much um, tension, I guess you can say, so the diapers aren't popping out. So to keep these diapers in place, I'm gonna be using that paper that we just cut. So I'm trying to measure it all out here, decide how I want it to look, then I just grab my glue gun, stick a little dot of glue, stick it on top, then I'm gonna cut it with my scissors here at the bottom, stick another dot of glue, secure that into place, and once that's secure into place, I'm gonna grab that other diaper and I'm going to put it 
in there. Now you gotta be careful here because you don't wanna pop off all the work that you just did, but I can only fit one more additional diaper, not two in the front, but I think that looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that exact same thing all the way around. Now for these ones where I stuck that diaper in the little crack there and then I have these two in front, I kind of have to hold that in place while I do this. So I'm gonna add my dot of glue while holding those diapers in place, stick that down. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go ahead, you know, cut off a little bit from the bottom, add another dot of glue and secure those diapers into place. So this is my process guys. This is what I'm gonna do to build the rest of the tiers. So this is what it's looking like so far, just so you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna fix those little cracks and crevices because I'm not happy with them, but we'll work on that later. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish stacking the rest of the cake. Okay, so what I'm showing you here is that I have to glue this a little bit differently this time on this next tier. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my dot of glue on the side with the print first and then I'll put that into place and then I'll do it on the wrong side as I flip it over to secure it to the top part of that next tier. I hope that makes sense but you can kind of sort of see what I'm doing here. I'm almost out of focus but I'm still kind of sort of in focus. Then once I do that I will just add two additional diapers because that's what works for this tier. You guys will just have to figure out what works for yours as you're working through it but on this tier I can add two more. Okay, so here I'm adding a string of yarn around the diaper cake to secure these diapers into the corners of this bottom large tier. So now I'm adding another diaper to on top of that diaper just in the corner here to fill up this space. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around the diaper cake and I'm trying to line it up with that ribbon that's in the center of that diaper. So I'm just pulling it down, trying to figure out where everything needs to go. Don't you love all that hair on my jacket? Awesome. But nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and cut you know what I think will be enough to secure this into place so now I'm just going to tie a knot and tighten this up the best that I can to secure that diaper into place and then I'm going to be adding three more additional diapers around to fill that space I don't want to see any gaps like that I just don't think that it looks nice so I try my best to fill it in and use all of the diapers that I bought for the diaper cake so now I'm just working the rest of the diapers into that little you know the string that i just put around the diaper cake to fill up that bottom tier again this is the bottom large tier that i'm working with here and i'm just trying to fill in the gap that is in the crack of that bottom tier hopefully this part isn't confusing you guys i thought about leaving it out but then i stuck it in so you guys can see the whole process Okay, so what I found is that some of these started popping off because the waxy part that's on the top of these cake circles just is not wanting to work with the hot glue. So then I decided that it was probably best to secure them to the ribbon and then they stayed in place. But just as an extra precaution, I went ahead and I'm going to tie a little strand of yarn at the very bottom here and then I'm going to loop this around the diaper cake just as an additional thing to keep these diapers into place should any of those decide that they're going to pop out. Now I know this is gonna be a little bit confusing but I'm just going over to the other side. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom here. I'm going to cut off all this excess and then I'm just going to loop that into that bottom uh, little strand of yarn that I have at the bottom here and tie this into place. Now there's another reason why I'm doing this also because we're gonna to need to se secure some more things to this diaper cake. It's gonna be far easier to do that by having these little strips of yarn in place. So that's one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing all the way around. So I'm gonna tie another one right there at the bottom, loop it all the way around to the other side. I'm just gonna do that until all of these are secured into place vertically. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building this thing. So I have this as my topper. The first thing that I wanna do is go ahead and cut off this back part because it's just not gonna look good on the top of the cake. I'm gonna plop him up there. So that's going to be the topper for this cake. You can use a stuffed animal, whatever you wanna use, I chose this. Now I also have these bibs that I need to put in place. So I'm gonna take the bib apart, obviously. Let's zoom in here. So see where I tied all those strands of yarn around the cake? We're gonna slide that bib right into there and just secure it into place like that. Look how easy it is to secure these things into place having all the, that yarn in there. 
Okay, so to secure the topper into place, I'm using a straight pin and I'm just pushing it right into those styrofoam separators that we used as the separators for the diaper cake. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around and I also use that at the very top to secure him right in the top there. I stuck a straight pin in the front and then I stuck another one around the back here and those, again, those are pressing right into those styrofoam blocks that are separators in the cake. So there's the topper, guys. This is what it's looking like so far. I've added a few bibs. I think I have four bibs on this next tier. I'm gonna fill in that center space there. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a second. But I just wanted to show you what it's looking like so far. So far, it's coming together pretty good. A lot more to go though, guys. Okay, so these are some of the things that I'm going to be putting on to this diaper cake, just giving you a quick overview of some of the things that we're going to need to attach. Now, some of them, when I took off the, you know, the stickers that left like a gooey substance, I'm gonna use the Goo Gone to get that off because of course, when someone is paying the amount of money that these people paid for this diaper cake, you wanna make sure it looks as nice as possible. Okay, so here is how I secured one of the books into place. Now I'm gonna show you how I did that in a second, but I just wanted to show you that it's filling in that space that was, you know, that empty space in the bib, and this is really secure on there. Let me show you how I did it. So I'm going to take a strand of yarn. I'm going to, you know, wrap it around, and then you're gonna see me turn it in the other direction to go vertical. So it was horizontal, now it's vertical. Now I'm just gonna wrap that around to the back and then I'm going to slip one side underneath that center part there and slip the other side underneath. And then I'm going to tie a knot to tie this in place. It's important that you do it this way because otherwise it's not going to um, tie securely, I guess is how I'm trying to spit this out. I hope that this is making sense. Cut off the excess. And that's the first part. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna wanna do, I'm going to attach it to the diaper cake, right? So I have three strands of yarn. So I'm gonna take the first strand, I'm gonna turn the back book um, backwards. I'm going to flip that underneath that center knot there, and then I'm going to tie it in a knot into place to the book itself, okay? I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, so I just tied it into a knot just like that. Now I'm going to take one side of the yarn and I'm going to slip it underneath that crisscross part that you're seeing right there on the diaper cake from those yarn strings that I put throughout the cake. All right, so now that that's slipped underneath, I'm going to take the other half and then I'm just going to tie it in a knot, guys, and that's going to tie this into place. So after I've tied it into a knot, I'm going to cut off the excess that I have, okay? So we're cutting off the excess yarn right now. Now you think that it's done, but it's not. It's just gonna spin everywhere. If you leave it like that, it's not gonna stay into place. So that's why I have this additional strand. I'm gonna slip it underneath this top part here. And then when I realized my camera was out of focus, I turned it off, we come back, and now I'm just going to slip it underneath that crisscross part that you see right there on the diaper cake and I'm going to tie it into place. Now don't tie it too tight here, guys. Just tie it to the point where it's staying in place and it's not pulling on anything else. So just be careful when you're tying these into place so that you're not pulling it too much and it stays exactly where you want it to. Cut off your excess, and then you're also going to do the exact same thing to secure the bottom. So I'm gonna take that other string and I'm gonna slip it underneath the bottom right there and then I'm gonna take both those pieces and I'm going to feed them through the bib. I know this looks so confusing guys, but just watch me, you'll get it. I'm gonna you know, put it through the bib here, flip the bib upside down and then find the proper place where it needs to be secured. So of course you want this to um, be centered. So I'm going to center it on this diaper here that's on the corner. So I'm sliding one piece underneath and then I'm just going to tie a knot to tie it into place. But again, making sure not to pull it too tight and then I'm gonna cut off my excess and now guys this isn't going anywhere it's going to stay in place see instead of spinning and being all over the place okay so now we have this nail clipper set here and we're gonna attach it in a very similar way so I'm gonna go ahead and take a string of yarn here feed it through this opening that was used to hang it um, in the store so I'm gonna go ahead and just tie the yarn itself to the product so I'm just gonna tie a knot to tie it into place then I'm gonna take one half of the yarn I'm going to slip it through here at this cross point you always want to do these at cross points guys because this is going to make it stay in place and secure and then obviously I'm just going to tie it in a knot to tie it into place and then I'm going to cut off my excess. Boom. Now because I don't want that flopping around I'm going to go an extra step and I'm going to take a string of yarn to make sure that I attach it on the bottom so it's not flipping all over the place. 
So I obviously measured how much I thought I would need and then I'm just going to go ahead and first tie a knot on the one side here. So I'm tying a knot to tie it into place, okay? And then I'm going to just, you know, wrap it around to the other side here, slip the yarn underneath, and then tie a knot to tie this other side in place. And that's going to keep this from moving back and forth, back and forth, and wobbling all over the place. It's just going to make it more secure. So that's why I do it this way. I'm gonna cut off my excess and then make sure I cut off my excess on the other side. And that is ready to roll. Okay guys, because I am so incredibly anal about this kind of stuff, I take a small safety pin and I'm going to put it through the bib itself and then I'm gonna slide it underneath that piece of yarn that you see on the book so that it assures me that this bib is going to stay exactly where I have it. So I think it's a nice cool decorative element. So I do it so that you can see it on the top. I don't try to hide the safety pin at all on this part. And it'll make it easier when the person is, um, you know, taking the cake apart to get that off of there. So that's just an extra step that I choose to take because I wanna make sure everything stays where I think it should be. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to attach these bottles to these bows that I made. So I'm going to take this cording, I'm going to cut off a piece that I think is big enough, then I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off of it, and then I'm going to just tie the cording around the bottle itself at the very top here at the neck. You guys can see what I'm doing. Just tie it into a knot, then go ahead and put the cap back on it. and. After I do that, you're gonna see that's gonna make that secure so that's not going anywhere. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and tie the bottle with the cording onto the bow itself. So I separate that yarn out because I need the yarn to tie it onto the diaper cake. Just going to tie it in a knot to tie it in place here. But before I do that, I make sure it's where I think it should be. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and tie it into a secure knot. Then cut off my excess, making sure to leave those two pieces of yarn so that I can attach it to the cake. But it's ready to go. Awesome. Okay, so to attach to the cake, we're gonna do the exact same process. I'm going to take half of the yarn here. I'm going to slip it underneath that little T point that you see in the diaper cake, then pull it through, and then just take the other half and tie it into a knot. Boom! I just think this looks a lot better being on a bow than just putting the bottle on the diaper cake by itself. It just adds a nice decorative element to the diaper cake and I just think it looks a lot better this way so that's why I do it. So obviously I'm going to cut off the excess and then this is looking pretty good. We're almost done. Yay! Okay guys, so this last decorative element are just some elephants that I printed offline and cut them out. And now I'm just going to add them in all the spaces where it needs some more decoration. And this is gonna help drive home that elephant theme that this particular customer requested. So that's gonna be the last part guys. I'm just going to stick a little dot of glue right on top of the paper. Make sure you stay away from the diapers. So I'm sticking a tiny dot of glue right on the paper, far, far away from all of the diapers. And that's how I'm securing these little decorative elements into place and there it is guys it's done Woo! so we're gonna zoom in here but I'm sorry that I did this vertical but it was like the only way I could get the whole diaper cake because this thing is so tall so I'm zooming in here just to show you some of the elements that I have here obviously we have the little topper then I have the little elephant decorations and you go on down to the Johnson's baby shampoo and then the nail clipper set and then over on this side here we got some bibs and some books and everything is secured into place using minimal glue for all this guys and then I decided to add some white pom-poms just as another decorative element to help fill in some spaces um, from, of some things that I just didn't want to be seen <laughs> so we're just gonna go head down to this side and it's kind of all the same stuff guys we have the lotion we have the cute little elephants and then the baby on board sign and then this is the back of the diaper cake and on the back, I did add some Elmo stuff because I just thought it was really cute and it was really hard to find elephants. I'm just saying, I tried to find elephant stuff and I couldn't find any. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in here. And um, of course we have the little elephant decorations. And then this is a um, pacifier holder, that's Elmo. And then we have a cute little big bird 
brush and then that is just a cookie monster toy going over to this side here we have another bib and then just some more decorative stuff and um that's the other side of it with the little pom-poms and another little bib this just turned out really cute guys i am very proud of this piece and i hope that you guys got some inspiration from watching this video let's jump into final thoughts Okay, guys, so like I said, there are far easier ways to make these things, but this is just my process. This is the way that I do it. Yes, I do take a lot of extra steps that I probably don't necessarily need to take, but I like to make sure that once I drop this thing off to the person that's going to be taking it to the baby shower, that it looks the way that it did when I dropped it off to them. So I feel like the only way that I can try to make sure of that is that I attach everything so sturdy, so good to make sure it doesn't move, make sure it's exactly where I want it to be so that when they drop it off it looks exactly the way that I did when I took it to them. Now I've made far bigger ones than the one that you, I showed you guys today. Um, I made one that was in the shape of a stork guys. That one was the one I was so super proud of. To date I think it's by far the coolest one I ever did but unfortunately I don't have a picture of it but that thing was like my size guys. It was like a life-size stork. It was huge and I did drop that one off to the venue and um, a couple of guys had to carry it out of the car, guys. It was so heavy. And I don't even know how those people got it home, but that wasn't my concern. My concern was to make sure that it got to the venue on time and in one piece. That was my biggest concern. So even if they had to take it apart to get it home, that's totally fine. As long as it just looked nice for the baby shower. And, you know, if they had to take it apart to get it home, that's what they had to do. It's got to come apart at some point, right? <laughs> but nonetheless, that person paid, I think she paid $300 for that one. I've made so many different kinds, guys, different sizes. I also made one that was six and a half feet tall. Had to finish that one on a ladder, obviously, being five foot tall. So I had to finish that one on a ladder, and then that one actually had to be transported from Pennsylvania all the way to Ohio in the back bed of a truck. Open bed of a truck. There was no cap or anything. I'm just saying. So I just saran wrapped it super good and just crossed my fingers and hoped for the best. And when we got to the venue, it was perfect nothing happened to it because I build these things so super sturdy guys like I just try so very hard to make sure that they're secure and they're sturdy and I've had people tell me actually when they were driving they didn't even think about you know kind of like I suggest you seat belt it in that's what I do with them when I transport them or like you know like put it in the corner of like a back of an SUV or something and just make sure you put things around it so that it doesn't move but it toppled over on their way to the baby shower and they said they just flipped it back up and it was fine so yeah <laughs> yay me so that's why i just want to make sure that everything's super secure and uh, do everything that i can to make sure these things aren't messed up by the time they make it to where they need to go so at any rate guys i hope that you guys found this helpful or useful in some way maybe you can take some of the tips and tricks that i showed you in this video to make an awesome diaper cake for your next baby shower and if you do that please share it with me i would love to see your work i'm on instagram i'm on facebook just send me a picture i would love to see what you came up with all right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye! What's up, gorgeous people? I forgot what video I was doing. I really forgot. What the heck? So hopefully, when I deliver it, it ends up that way. Um, a lot of the bigger dyke dyke boom yes thanks have a nice day <laughs> that's why i go out of my way to make sure that everything stays in place to the best of my ability to way that i to the way that i wanted it to look er why can't i get that out okay